vertical exaggeration. It might be a good idea to watch the cross-section video for revision before learning about vertical exaggeration. You can find the link to it in the video description. Remember that a cross-section is a diagram you can draw to show the shape of the land by plotting points on a graph. Vertical exaggeration tells us how much a cross-section has been stretched, or exaggerated, by the vertical scale. To determine the vertical exaggeration of a cross-section you need two things. The horizontal scale and the vertical scale. To find the horizontal scale you need to refer to the scale of the map. Remember that when you drew your cross-section you marked points based on the placement of contour lines. The scale may be represented as a sentence, ratio, or as a line, linear scale. Here you can see the horizontal axis. This axis on your graph will be the same as the map. The vertical scale is the scale on the vertical axis of your graph. This can be flexible. You may choose to have 1 cm represent 10 meters, or 1 cm represent 20 meters. The idea that there can be flexibility in the vertical scale is why it is important to know how much the vertical scale has stretched out the drawing. Here you can see the vertical scale represented on the vertical axis. Vertical exaggeration is the horizontal scale over the vertical scale. In other words, what one centimeter represents on the map, over, what one centimeter represents on the vertical axis. In this example for the horizontal scale, one centimeter on the map represents one kilometer. This is because the map has a scale of 1 is to 100,000. For the vertical scale, 1 cm on the vertical scale represents 10 meters. We can see this by using our ruler next to the vertical scale. We want both the numerator and the denominator to be in the same units, meters. So our equation becomes 1000 over 10, or 100 over 1. This means that the cross-section was exaggerated or stretched 100 times.